Hello Cancer and welcome to your September 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer Sun Moon rising in Venus so I hope you're well as always the reading won't be for everyone take what resonates for you so we're going to pull an overarching energy <clears throat> some general energies and then look specifically at love romance relationships money career finances and any other thread that comes out bear with me I'm suffering from allergies at the moment but we're doing this reading <clears throat> so let's see what we have for Cancer Two of Pentacles is your overarching energy. Let's see what we have with that. Page of Wands. Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. The Hierophant. Let's pull cards for love, romance, relationships. What do we have for our lovely Cancerians? Thank you for the month of September. <clears throat> Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you for September. Oh, few, I've got three cards. Five of Swords. Kind of came out like this. <clears throat> Let's put it like that. We have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles can be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female or the energy of the card. It really can be any sign in general reading, somebody who generally is solid, stable, secure. Uh, it can also be a very positive healing energy as well. Let's see what we have in terms of money career. <clears throat> what do we have for Cancer? Thank you. We have the Hanged Man. Oh, lovely, the Empress. Let's pull you an Angel Answer card. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Cancer. It's up to you. Is your message. Let's pull a card for love, romance, relationships. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Message for Cancer. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Let's pull a card for money areas. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive and filled with blessings and that is what you will experience. Okay, Cancer, so I'm going to pull you a Power Animal Oracle card. Let's see what we have. Additional messages for the month of September. Hummingbird joy, lighten up. Or well, things are about to lighten. Either way, it's a nice energy. Let's pull you a number card. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Oh, okay. We have, yeah, patience is in the reading. We have number two, patience, and we have 10, karmic completion. So whatever it looks like you're wanting to get to the end of, it feels like that's happening for you. Let's pull you a fortune cookie. 
and it feels like it's with joy. Fortune cookie, communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. All right, Cancer, so your overarching energy, um, the Two of Pentacles can, let's start with money, career, finances. The Two of Pentacles can be, I don't know which way it's going to go. It can sometimes represent moving that's from A to B, you know, uh, letting go of something to move to another. This can be an energy here, but in the process of that, it feels like you're waiting for some kind of communication. Which way is it going to go? I don't know. Now, this feels like you're kind of like um, in between two worlds and you're just responding as best you can to the circumstances that you're finding yourself in. That's what I'm seeing for you here quite strongly. Um, you're just kind of like, I just, I, I can only do what I can do. Now, this can be quite overwhelming, quite an overwhelming energy. Sometimes we feel a bit overwhelmed with our circumstances, but this person juggles and dances at the same time. It's not beyond your capability. This is whatever is on your plate right now, you can absolutely deal with. You have it within your power to deal with. And it looks in this scenario here, then there will be some patience that's needed, but the communication is coming in. Now, with this being your overarching energy, it may well overlap into potentially October, but the message really applies. All you can do is respond as you practically resourcefully can right now, but it's well within your ability to deal with this situation. You have that capability and that's what I'm seeing for you here. I'm feeling that the cards are quite connected here, Cancer. Um, we have finances and career affecting your love life. So this could be you, this could be your partner. Either way, the message is it's up to you. And generally when it's up to you message comes in, it generally represents we have the power to manifest something. We have the power to create. Creation energy is linked with Empress energy. So <clears> the <throat> Five of Swords kind of came out like this. So the Five of Swords can um, sometimes be that sense of a hard won victory. Uh, triumph, success, that brings release, you know, really, we can just let go of it, put it behind us, you know, move on from it, you know, this is what I'm seeing here, it might well be that you're wondering if you're going to get some kind of offer, intuitively, you feel that things are likely moving in the right direction, but you just want to release from it, you just want to put it behind you, and that's what I'm getting here quite strongly, because we have the Queen of Pentacles, this can be financial areas. Now, she can be very good in terms of recovery, um, healthy abundance coming into your life, new growth, um, cultivating new abundance. You know, this is a very, very good energy for getting that newfound stability. Very positive in terms of financially uh, providing for yourself as well or providing for others, you know. So this is the energy that I'm seeing for you. Now, the Queen of Pentacles can also be somebody who you might be connecting to in business and you're wondering if you're going to get some kind of offer from them um, where you can just release from whatever's gone on and let go. So this is what I'm seeing here. The, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, very stable, secure, doesn't really move at a speedy pace, just very steady. Um, but this is why they're, they, they're very, very grounded, uh, very information gathering, you know. So it might well be that you're connecting to someone like that, male or female, with the Queen of Pentacles. But I just feel that you're wondering if you're going to be victorious so you can let go of something here, release from it, put something behind you. Now... The hanged man and the empress, the hanged man can be a, quite a stuck energy. Sometimes we can just be waiting, you know, waiting for things to play out, waiting for everything to fall into place here and do as best that we can to respond to situations. With the empress, the empress is new abundance. 
uh, very, very beautiful in terms of money, career, finances, is when we don't feel lack, when we feel that sense of cultivating new abundance with the Empress energy, she can be the birth of something new. But it looks like in September, you've been waiting for something to happen, but there is a sense here of... I, I feel towards, likely towards maybe the end of September, even early October, there is this kind of energy of everything will be perfect for um, that sense of new abundance to come in. There's a sense that the time is right, you know, the soil is at the right, you know, temperature, the, the sun is shining, you have the right setting. This is the energy of everything is ready for those kind of new abundance, new seeds to be planted. And this is the energy here. So there will become, I feel come a perfect time here, Cancer, for the new to come into your life. And it looks like something that you've been waiting for. Could be a significant period of time. We're in hanged mind energy for a number of reasons. Sometimes we, it could be, you know, changing jobs or waiting for another job to come toward you it could well be to do with you know um financial changes in the relationship it can also be health areas could have affected your money career finances as well whatever this energy was of i can't do things right now i'm stuck i have to wait for things to play out whatever that situation is it feels and you can only respond you might have a lot on your plate there might well be other things going on where you're just kind of like i just have to wait everything to fall into place until that new abundance can come in so it could re represent juggling other areas of your life and especially with health areas sometimes it affects is our affects our financial abundance and stability and security so this is the energy here of of it might well be you've gone through some kind of situation where you're just kind of like okay I'm just going to let this play out and then I can go and get this. And it feels like you're on the back end of whatever that process is. Because there is some kind of karmic completion here. Where I feel you're getting to the end of a process here. You've needed a lot of patience. But this is the energy of things are about to lighten up and we have communication coming in here. Because I definitely see... Whatever this hanged man energy has been for you, the, the the waiting, the waiting for things to play out. The Seven of Cups and the Hierophant represent you may have been pursuing now opportunities. Um, this is manifesting new hopes, dreams and wishes. And Spirit telling you that there are pathways to be manifested here. Dare to dream, because the Hierophant is a very spiritual energy of we're being watched over, answered prayers. It can be it, sometimes when we find our faith or lean on our faith, especially in, you know, when we're challenged in some way. But it's a card of having faith as well, having faith, keeping the faith in some way. That's one of those hopes, dreams and wishes is going to come in. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. Because when we have the cup, you can see again, I don't know if I'm, am I, I'm hoping I can be victorious so I can let it all go and move on from this. I'm hoping that I'm going to get some kind of offer. That's what I'm seeing for you here, Cancer. It looks, with the page of wands and the three of cups, this is good news. This is the communication that you likely have been waiting for. The Page of Wands can be a very positive message in terms of opportunity. It holds the wand of opportunity. New beginnings, new change. With the Three of Cups, Cancerian energy, it's the winter is over, the spring is here. That sense of reasons to celebrate. Celebrating with kindred spirits, family, friends. New abundance coming in. This is the energy. So that's what I see for you, Cancer. I wasn't really getting any other message, and especially with such a, an emphasis in terms of finances and career in the reading, I'm not really getting anything else. The only other message that I can see in terms of love, romance, relationships, and again, whatever those relationships will be, 
could in, could be with a relationship itself or with even wider family. It could well be some kind of uh, message to reunite with a person. And there's a choice to make or a decision. And you're deciding to... And this would likely have been someone wanting to make amends after a fallout. You might, they might, you might have even walked away from this person for a period of time. Again, depending on who this is. But this is the energy here. There could well be some offer to reconcile. And again, create something new with them. The hand man is you give them the benefit of the doubt. And you're wondering which way to go. There's still a decision, but you're not sure right now either way. So the energy is, I'm just going to wait and see. So that would be the energy. And really, we sometimes wait in hanged man energies. It can be a very wise thing to do, especially when we've got important decisions to make, because we put the onus on somebody else. Either, you know, we make amends and it's good and it's positive and we're grateful that we did that, or they let us down again and that's our answer. So either way, sometimes we hold on a judgment, we hold on a decision in hanged man energy just to see how things go. And that's what I'm seeing for you if it was to do with relationships. And again, that could be friend, family, love, romance. That was the additional message that came through. So I'm going to pull you a message from Spirit. I feel this is very positive in terms of money career in particular. This could also be um, you supporting a child, you know, until they get a job. Same message, same message. So however that manifests for you, but it looks like then you get a job and there are reasons to celebrate. Again, the sense of the winter is over, the spring is here. And sometimes if you're supporting somebody else, you know, you have to juggle finances. So for some of you, this could be an energy here of, I'm just hoping that, you know, they're going to get some kind of offer from this person, you know, and uh, and then it's going to go well for them. But this, this looks very positive in that respect too. I did say dare to dream, didn't I? We have d dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages and more. And I'm going to pull you a final message. Final message for... The month of September for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. Message for Cancer, thank you. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. We have Golden Unicorn, Ascension, awaken to, awaken to your soul's potential. This is an upward direction. Golden Unicorn is also a very lucky energy to get in a reading. That's what I have for you, Cancer, for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.